Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the channel. This is Tamara, the paper and pen girl. And if you want to see my complete goal planning system and how I plan to crush my goals for 2019, keep watching. So um, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of when I post up new videos because you're not gonna wanna miss the live videos that I plan on doing. If you want some accountability partnership, if you want some weekly check-ins, if you want some things like that as you're going along in uh, accomplishing your goals for 2019, make sure you hit that subscription bell. This planner right here is the Tamra 365 and I have already done a video on this one. I will link that video down in the description box as well as at the end of the video in one of these two corners, you'll be able to see a link to this video. You're not gonna wanna miss that. You're going to want to make sure that you watch the video to see how I'll be um, developing my goals and getting to know myself better through using this Tamara 365 planner. She's very big and chunky and I'm very excited about using it. In the meantime, what we will be talking about today is this particular planner, which is a Clever Fox planner. Y'all, it comes in a beautiful box and this planner is kind of, how can I say it? the meat. Um, it is definitely one of the meat portions of my system. It is a two-part system that I will be using this year to uh, be better than last year. <laughs> to be better than last year. Let me take that out. I'm missing the stickers. So it comes in a really, really nice box and it does have these stickers that you can use if you so choose to. Um, when I was looking at goal planners and things that I can use to really take myself up to another level in goal planning and goal achieving, this was one of the planners that I looked at. Not only was this one of the planners that I looked at, um, Clever Fox reached out to me and asked if I would do a video, a review on their planner. And I was like, yes, God has just blessed me and opened up a door that I can have a product that I was already looking at. This planner does come with a how to use this planner guide. If you so choose to use it, it's separate from the planner itself. Um, and it's step one, be grateful for what you have. Think about what you love to do and learn new habits and skills. Definitely what we'll be doing in that 365 planner. Create a vision for your life, also 365 planner, and set your goals. Choose your five most important one-year goal and then break them down, which is what we'll be doing with this Clever Fox planner. Set that aside. This is the daily edition that I have chosen. It does come in a daily and a weekly version. The large, the big difference between the daily and the weekly version is that the daily has six months worth of pages, while the weekly version is going to have a year's worth of pages. So that's gonna be one of the biggest um, differences between the two. It has a beautiful band that stretches. So if you choose to bulk up your planner, babes, we can bulk this thing up. It does have a great pen loop on the side, which fits your pens beautifully. So you can have a pen specifically for this planner. Um, the cover feels so good. I cannot tell you how good this planner cover feels, y'all. I love how this thing feels. Almost a leather feel, but it's not um, a leather planner. Let's take that band off. I love the fact that on the back it does say you, by using the Clever Fox Planner, you can stay focused on your goals, develop good habits, feel happier, increase your pr productivity, live a more fulfilling life. So if that's something that you want, you might wanna check this planner out. When you open the planner, the pages are white. Y'all, these pages are white. And so it's really beautiful. The paper feels great. The paper is also um, made with 100% recycled paper. Another great addition because it's good for the environment. 
you have your title page, you can put your name and information of how you want people to contact you if they have found your planner, if this is something you're taking outside of the home. Now, when it comes to goal setting, one of the things I needed was an uncomplicated system. I needed something that was not going to cause me to have to just go through a whole lot of process and think too much. I need something that was simple and uncomplicated, y'all, because I'm not ready to go super, super deep yet, but I am ready to make sure that what I want to do, the goals that I do set that I want to accomplish, I'm, I'm able to do that. And so this planner, I thought, was absolutely perfect. It has my gratitude. What am I grateful for? What am I passionate about? What brings me joy in my life? My affirmations. And it has skills that I want to learn and, and uh, habits that I want to adopt this year. Sometimes that's basically where my goals are. Knowing the skills that I want to learn and the habits that I want to adopt for the year. Such as going to bed early. Then it has your vision board where you can put the vision of what you want for your life for 2019 or whatever year you choose to use this because it is undated. It comes with your top goals page. And y'all, y'all, if you watch my video, I promise you um, with this planner, let me go and I think it's January. You will see that I have um, nine areas of life, spiritual, personal development, ro romance, family, work and business, health, recreation, finance, and social. Um, and then I'm adding home projects <laughs> that I want to be able to keep a track of. In my accountability videos that I use my Erin Condren for, these are also the same areas. And I will link, the, link those uh, videos down below as well. And probably at the end of this video. Those are the areas that I also want to be able to touch and make goals in. This planner has that. Health, business, career, family, friends, significant other, and romance, spiritual, recreational, personal development, finance. So when I saw this, y'all, I was like, that's for me. This planner, it understands me. It's for me. And so I can put what my top three goals are in these particular areas for the year. What is my focus in that particular goal. So goal number one through five, what's my focus? I do like the fact that they have limited this to five because we tend to overdo it. We tend to not understand that we still have other things that we're doing in our life on a day-to-day -day basis. So making our goals, we need to make sure that we have time for the goals that we are making. Love the mind map section here. And then at the very front of the planner, you will have all of your months. You will have all the months up front. So you have a section to say, what are the habits that I want to adopt for this month? Skills to learn, things to avoid, places to go, and people to see, which is amazing because it's also covering those areas. Monthly goals, you can list them at the bottom. Your monthly wins, y'all. It even goes, what were you good at this month? What did you do well this month? What was your win for this month? And then it gives you another section to say how you will improve for next month. So it's giving you an area that you need to think about. These were my wins and this is how I can improve upon those wins. It's undated. You can put your own um, sticker with your numbers in the planner. I love this. So we have one month, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, ooh, come on. Eleven. It doesn't want to end. <laughs> and twelve. So you have a twelve month monthly calendar in here, which is superb. Same thing. When you um, reach to the end of the 12th month, of course, you go over into your weekly overview page. So your weekly overview page has this week's main goal. What is the main goal for the week? This week for me is the first week of January. So my main goal is to clean my laundry room. That's, that's it, my laundry room. And then the priorities. So list the priorities. You can use this planner as your one planner that you have for everything in your life. You can use this. So um, I'm going to be using it specifically as my goal planner. So everything goal related is going to be in here, but you can use it as a regular planner to organize your, your everyday, your entire life. 
So priorities, work to-do list, I will just cover that and put to-do list. What's my to-do list towards this main goal? And then your personal to-do list, because something always comes in here, your habits and skills that you want to um, to, to ad adopt, you can put that there and track it. Life balance to do this, oh my gosh. This is golden, y'all, because when we are doing, um, in the process of getting our goals, we sometimes neglect other areas of our life. And so this says, you need to have balance. What are you doing in your health area? What are you doing in your family and friends area? Your romance and relationship, your fun and recreation, your personal development, your spiritual. What are you doing in that area for the week to make sure that you're balancing this stuff out as you're getting your goals? Today, we have a family movie date or a family date day. So that's going to be where we are doing our fun and recreation, or it could be even family and friends. So we have a family date day today. So making sure that we're listing for the week uh, the things that we're doing in the other areas to balance ourselves out. We have a daily schedule, which I adore this. Um, so it's undated, like I said. So you put your date. You can use these two top sections for anything you want. Uh, you can do affirmation on here. Um, you know, you can use this section for gratitude. You can use this section here for a running to-do list, but it's meant for your schedule. So you can schedule out your day. I will be using this section, however, to put down all the things that I need to do to support my task. And this is, I'm going to be using it separately. You'll see, you'll see how I'm using that. And then there's a to-do list and a rate your productivity. Oh, this right here, okay? So you need to rate how were you this week? Were you productive this week? Rate it for the day. It breaks it down to the day. So we have a weekly rating and we have your daily rating. And then we over here have your this month's wins and how you'll improve for the month. So you have your monthly rating. How, how on a scale of one to 10, how do I rate myself and how I'm gonna improve for tomorrow it's not even saying how you're going to improve next month tomorrow how are you going to improve y'all that life this gives me life and so this goes on so that's day one two three four five six seven days and at the end of the seventh day you have a weekly notes section and then y'all you've got a weekly review Th this sealed everything for me this sealed everything for me with this planner because I believe that one of the places that we disconnect is not reviewing and then moving from the review process to how am I going to apply what I've learned to next week to be better. There's a disconnect in doing that portion of our planning and our goal getting. And so this, I loved this. It says this week's main goal. Did you achieve the goal? What was your, did you reward yourself? Okay. And what was that reward for this week's wins? What were your wins for the week? Um, what tasks were not completed this week and why? Okay. So sometimes we just leave it there. We don't write why it was completed. We end up beating up ourselves because maybe something happened that was out of our control. And because we have not written that down, we, we don't know. So that. What habits did I not pursue this week and why? What have I learned this week? How do I feel about my progress this week? And how will I improve for next week? So the question is being asked every time. How will you improve for tomorrow? How will you improve for next week? And how will you improve for next month? So it's just a constant checking in on you, being accountable. And I love this planner for that. This will continue in the same manner to the end of the planner. Like I said, this planner, you will have pages enough for six months um, and then you will need to purchase a new planner, but it's undated. So if you miss a week, then it might take you longer. You know what I mean? So you decide this is well worth it for me. At the end, you have these dot pages, note pages that you can write on or even do extra vision boards on. If you want to break up your vision board in categories, y'all, it has a pocket in the back that you can use to store things and it comes, you know, comes out pretty wide. So it has that pocket um, in the back of the planner as well. 
this y'all don't know how much life this planner is giving me okay so I'm, I'm I have this planner and my husband is actually going to purchase one and he's going to use that for his goal setting activities as well I'm, I'm hoping that I can um, convince him <laughs> to do a check-in with me on the planner to see how he's using it and how um, a male could use this one a planner like this but he was like not the hot pink boo I gotta buy a black one not the hot pink I'm not rolling up into work with a hot pink planner and so we're gonna um, get a black one for him when it comes back in stock this um clever fox company uh is sponsoring a giveaway also y'all clever fox is sponsoring a giveaway so one of you all will be able to win a planner of your choice whether it's the daily like this or the weekly there's even additional planners that's on the website that you can check out there is a coupon code that you can use to purchase one of these planners and this is a coupon code CFP10 off. And I will put that down in the description box. I will also link down below uh, the link to Amazon for the daily and the weekly planner to make it easier for you to find those planners. In order to enter this giveaway, however, um, you need to be 18 years of old or older, US residents only for this giveaway. Also, Please understand this is not sponsored in any way by YouTube, but it is sponsored by Clever Fox Planner. Um, answer this particular question. Uh, there is a link in the description box to Gleam that will take you to the giveaway. But I want you to answer this particular question when you're entering the giveaway. What is keeping you from accomplishing your goals, from achieving your goals? Is it that you don't have an accountability partner? Is it that you can't get from setting the goals to the actual steps that need to be taken to get to your goals? What do you think is keeping you from accomplishing your goals? So answer that question. Um, this giveaway will um, run from today which is January the 1st and end on Sunday, which is going to be January the 6th. On January the 6th, I will be doing a live um, at 9, about 8.30, 9 p.m. I will post it up on my community tab. So please make sure you hit that uh, subscription bell, that notification bell so that you can be notified. So about 8.30 and nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I will do a live on Sunday, January 6th. So we can go over the goals, we can go over some of the blockage, things that are keeping you from accomplishing your goals and announce the winner of this planner. I wanna thank you all for taking the time out to view this review of the Clever Fox Daily Planner. Don't forget to look down in the description box for the links and also above for my video links as well. I will see you all on the next video and have an amazing, amazing start to 2019. Bye-bye.